In this lesson, you will learn how to work with fractions that have a denominator of 10 or 100. Fractions with a denominator of 10 or 100 are special because they can also be used to express decimal numbers. Now when the denominator of a fraction is 10, the fraction represents tenths. And when the denominator of a fraction is 100, the fraction represents hundredths. To understand the relationship between tenths and hundredths, Let's learn how we can rewrite fractions that have 10 in the denominator as an equivalent fraction that has 100 in the denominator. In this instance, we're going to work with the fraction 4 tenths. Let's take a look at 4 tenths in a model. This model shows 4 tenths because the model as a whole contains 10 equal parts, and 4 of those parts are being used, so we've got 4 tenths in this model here. Now let's take a look at 4 tenths represented in a hundredths grid. Here's a hundredths grid, and it's the same size of the whole that we have in the tenths grid, and this just has a hundred divisions instead of ten divisions. When you look at four tenths in this type of grid, you can count all the little squares that fill up this yellow space, and when you count, you find that there are 40 yellow squares out of 100 that are in this grid. So that means that the fraction four tenths is equivalent to 40 one hundredths. Now let's solve an addition problem with these types of fractions. So I've got a new problem written below, and we want to find the sum. 5 tenths plus 3 one hundredths. To do this, we need to write 5 tenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. And as you saw in the first problem, what we need to do is first visualize 5 tenths in a tenths grid, and then take a look at what 5 tenths looks like when represented in a hundredths grid. So let's look at the tenths grid first. And this is 5 tenths because there are 10 equal parts and 5 of those parts are being used. So here's 5 tenths in the tenths grid. Now let's see what this looks like in a hundredths grid now. Now if you count the number of yellow squares in this hundredths grid, you'll find that there are 50 squares filled in yellow out of a total of 100. So the equivalent fraction of 5 tenths is 50 one hundredths. So now let's rewrite our addition sentence as 50 one hundredths, right, because that's equivalent to 5 tenths, plus 3 one hundredths. Now both these fractions have the same denominator, so we can add by keeping the denominator the same and then adding the numerators. 50 plus 3 is 53. So the sum is 53 hundredths. And that means that 5 tenths plus 3 one hundredths equals 53 one hundredths. And we were able to do that by writing an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. In this lesson, you've learned a little bit more about fractions. Thanks for watching.